Hey guys, my name's Megan and welcome back to my channel. So we are back with our girls. We have Ocean and Nadia. They are, you know, just having some fun after their wedding. They decided to go out to dinner, you know, on their little mini honeymoon. This definitely isn't the official one. I haven't decided if they're going to have an official honeymoon. So they're kind of just, you know, enjoying their little love bubble by, you know, going out to eat at the restaurant where, you know, they really started to become close friends. And of course, we have to go in our wedding dresses and recap everything that happened at the wedding. Since Nadia slept through most of it, so Ocean's gonna, you know, tell her that her stepdad started flirting with her and all her friends. So, you know, that's great. And Nadia has been very vocal about her wanting to start a family. She's ready to have kids. They're married. They have a house. Ocean has been making good money at her job. And Nadia is ready to quit and become a stay-at-home mom, you know? So meanwhile, Ocean is pretty neutral to having kids right now. But she's really focused on her fitness journey and, you know, just starting her career and you know, doing the best she can. So Nadia is just going to do some research on how they can, you know, have a baby that's, you know, both of theirs instead of, you know, doing, doing surrogacy or asking, you know, for a sample from one, one of their friends. And as they were eating, the waitress let them know that the romance festival is actually going on downstairs. And since they're newlyweds, they, they should go check it out. And talk to the love guru and get their fortune told so you know ocean like yeah let's go i've never been to the romance festival it'll be fun to you know do some fun little festivals around the city so you know let's go and of course as soon as we get here we have to get some sakura tea you know get the good vibes going a little shot of love if you will ha 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 Alright, so Ocean is talking to this love guru guy who she apparently is also attracted to. She's wondering if he works out. Like, girl, he is an old man. What do you mean, does he work out? Okay, sis, whatever. But anyway, she's asking for some love, love advice since she just got married. And what does he have to say? They will brighten your darkness and lighten your load like a burning donkey. I don't know if that's good or not. So she's asking him, hey, can you like explain? I just got married and I'm a child of divorce and I don't want to go through multiple relationships like my parents. So can you give me some better advice on, you know, what I should do in my relationship? And he is speaking some nonsense and she's barely listening because she's very attracted to him. But here's what he has to say. A life without love is not one worth living. All right, well, that's great. But honestly, I think these girls are solid. They are so in love with each other. And it's pretty late, so I think they're going to head home. All right, it's the next day, and this is after Ocean's workout. And we are hanging out with Blue, Tiffany, and Karina. We haven't hung out with them since, like, you know, before the wedding. So they're all just catching up. Ocean is talking about, you know, married life after like, you know, maybe two days and talking about how, you know, Nadia is ready to have kids and she's just not sure if she's there yet, but she's very happy in her career so far and she loves her new home. And they're talking about, oh, we forgot we're all going to be graduating soon. They haven't had their official high school graduation, which, which is actually starting right now. Let's go. All right, everyone's here at the graduation, including Nadia. And obviously we are going to call our mom and all of our friends real quick to watch us graduate. And I'm not gonna lie, high school years is kind of a broken pack for me. If you watched a few episodes back, like Nadia and Ocean were supposed to go to prom and that did not happen, the game glitched and they went nowhere. And, uh, the graduation has never worked for me so you know just know she graduated there's a picture in her inventory and we're just gonna move on all right it's the next day and ocean has decided to call up some of her friends for some steak and wine 
because some of them have not seen the new house and some of them hasn't even um met Nadia yet like Elsa hasn't met her Avid hasn't met her these are two friends that Osha met at the club once and they're just gonna have a steak and wine night and watch a nice little movie oh and Mateo's here here too and hopefully he won't be creeping on the girls um did Tiffany get into a fight like she has a black eye like I'm not seeing that wrong she definitely has a black eye Girl, what happened to you? We just graduated from high school the night before, and in that time span, you got into a fight? Like, sis, what happened? Okay, so they definitely have been drinking for a while. This is like their second bottle of wine so far. So I would say the girls are, you know, they're a little tipsy right now, if you will. They're not drunk, but they're definitely a little tipsy, which is why they're just sitting at the table talking about you know nothing if you will and then this message pops up tiffany is hitting on nadia are you serious right now in in ocean's house in front of ocean what no all right tiffany that is completely out of line and i think it's time for you to go that was completely out of line you're a little too drunk you need to get out of our house Okay, it's the next morning, and Nadia is having a nice little healthy breakfast of steak and eggs and asparagus, followed up with a glass of wine, and it's like 6.30 in the morning. Like, girl, are you okay? <laughs> and the girls are just talking about the things they have to do today. Nadia is talking about her research into, you know, how they could have a child. She found out that the, ho the Willow Creek Hospital is offering science babies. So that's a way they could have a baby where it's, you know, fully like theirs together. So they wouldn't have to do surrogacy or, you know, IVF. And she's like, hey, would you like consider doing this? And she's like, you know what? I'm very indifferent to having a child right now, but, you know, do some more research into it and we can talk about it later. Okay, what happened with Tiffany and Nadia last night really has Ocean a little distracted. So I think we need to call her and we need to talk about this because she's a really close friend. They've been friends since high school. And she's like, hey, I heard what you did last night. You kind of did it in front of me. You flirted with my wife. Then I yelled at you and kicked you out. And I love you. You are one of my good friends. And I feel like you're going through some something. But a boundary has to be set. You can't flirt with my wife. Like, you can't try to boink Nadia. She's my wife, and you're both our friends. So, just promise not to do that again. And, you know, we're solid. I, you're forgiven. She definitely apologized. And, you know what? We're going to move on. Because they are good friends. In fact, they are also best friends. And we're going to make it official. Tiffany is officially Ocean's new best friend, and hopefully this will not go wrong. Look at that friendship. It's definitely not going to go wrong. All right, it's the early morning, and Nadia is still talking about this baby business. She says she got an appointment with the hospital, and if Ocean is ready, they're going to have a science baby today. And I think Ocean just really wants to make Nadia happy. So she is willing to have a science baby with Nadia just to make her happy. And honestly, Nadia is ecstatic. She can't wait to have a little baby that's both hers and Ocean. And she's going to go to the hospital and I guess, you know go have a, a little science baby I also never used this mechanic so I didn't know it was like instantaneous and yes she will have it as science baby with ocean and it's a little boy we're gonna name him Micah the third gen is officially starting all right guys I'm gonna end this one right here I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one bye